So we are inside the Embraer E190 E2. And let me say it has some very interesting features. Very spacious, two seats on one side and two seats on the other side. But that's my perspective. Let me get one of the passengers' perspective. Meshemir, what do you think about the aircraft so far? Oh, well, it's a fantastic aircraft. Very smooth flight. What stood out for you so far in your journey? Uh, well, the fact that you're viewing Mount Kilimanjaro, you know, right at the top, that is fantastic for me. So the flight was from, of course, Nairobi to all the way to Kilimanjaro. Let me say the food is also quite interesting. I mean, it's a light aircraft in this particular one. It's a demo, so we didn't get to have hot dishes, but we did have some very interesting food in terms of sandwiches as well as drinks. We are now joined by the Chief Operating Officer of Kenya Airways, and he should be able to give us some insight when it comes to partnership between Embraer and KQ going forward. Thank you so much for joining us. To begin with, what kind of partnership do you have with Embraer? Uh, long-standing partnership. Uh, Embraer is our supplier for the last uh, 10 years. We have 15 aircraft. Uh, they deliver parts. They do technical service. So it's, a, it's, it's mainly a supplier-buyer uh, relationship, but it's, it's a, good, uh, a good partnership. When you're saying supplier and buyer, what kind of requirements that does KQ enlist when it comes to getting uh, the aircrafts from uh, Embraer? For us it's important. Passenger comfort is of course number one. Efficiency is, is, is also number one. I mean, they, they are the shared, shared uh, positions. And apart from that, we have long list, technical, uh, all kind of things. And that has been Kenya Airways' perspective. But bear in mind that Embraer has partnered with quite a number of other aircraft airlines in the in the African continent. And to walk us through it, we have a representative from Embraer. <laughs> Please have a seat, even as we discuss it. What kind of partnerships do you have in the African continent? Our uh, biggest uh, operator in number of aircrafts in Africa today is South African Airlink. They have uh, 30 ERJs uh, uh, aircraft, which is smaller 50-seat uh, aircraft, and 13 E-Jets. So with Airlink, we are uh, opening a training center for pilots, uh, mechanics, technicians uh, in Johannesburg. And uh, this is going to be... Uh, operational in the coming uh, months so it's uh, also a very big uh, partnership that we have in, in Africa. Where do you see the opportunity when it comes to aviation in Kenya? I think Kenya as a hub of, uh, of East Africa has uh, already expanded quite broadly. Uh, the potential is even bigger. Uh, Kenya has uh, 15 uh, regional jets with Embraer and then 737s and 787s expanding. They are now flying to New York. Uh, for uh, those long-haul flights, they will need more connections. They will need to fly to more secondary cities, tertiary cities. They will need to increase the frequencies. So Embraer is a big part of it. We want to do it uh, together with them, and uh, we believe that Kenya will uh, benefit not only in the aviation side, but the whole economy of the country will benefit for that. Thank you so much. We have been speaking to the representative from Embraer. Of course, we are in the Embraer E190 E2 aircraft from Nairobi to Tanzania, from Nairobi actually, to all the way to Dar es Salaam. It has been quite an insightful journey. Speaking to these passengers, speaking to the government officials who are also in this demo journey, it has been quite a learning experience. Now, as we learned about in 20 minutes, we're waiting to see what we'll see from the other side in Tanzania.